Live, 10 at 10, continues with No Wait Weather. Well, today, certainly cool with a low temperature of nine below zero. We're in the teens, so below uh, high, average high temperatures in Grand Forks and in Fargo. And tonight, now, some high clouds starting to drift in and temperatures, well, we've slowed our retreat a little bit. Seven degrees, it feels like five below zero with those southerly winds that are going to take hold through the rest of the night. Those north winds throughout the day kept temperatures really uh, at bay, but the sunshine felt marvelous out there. One below zero, the cold spot right now near Thief River Falls. Two below also pretty chilly up there in Bedette with three in Bemidji. It's 10 degrees warmer than that in both Devil's Lake and Jamestown. Crystal clear skies as we head to bed. That's not the case way down to the south. Good old fashioned storm system developing in Texas with some moderate to heavy snow where you see these white bands here. Uh, well, right over here, Frisco, that's where our friends from the Bison were here just not that long ago. By morning, we're going to hear about some wintry woes across portions of Texas and Oklahoma with six to maybe even isolated areas of 12 inches of snow. For us, the cold temperatures are really going to take place now in the next couple of hours, and then those south winds will start scrubbing out that molasses, and by morning, many of us will have temperatures a few degrees warmer than those we have now, but it will be wind chilly for your bus riders in the morning. Make sure they're wearing a coat and a hat because wind chills with 15 mile per hour winds will still be near or just below zero in many locations. Now, as we go through the midday, again, we promise some sun out there. North, though, if we look up there at midday hour, those clouds will be starting to scoot down along the leading edge of a cold front. So temperatures will make their way up to the 20s, but in the afternoon, you see some yellow arrows here. That means some gusts will be over 25 miles per hour through the afternoon in the Southern Valley. Not as strong for the winds north of Highway 2, but the clouds will start moving in. So temperatures much warmer on our Wednesday, but we'll have a lot more wind to worry about. And then late in the day, this is after the drive, the clouds move south and bring with it a few flakes of snow for your uh, evening and morning travels into Thursday. In Fargo, temperatures near 10 at the bus stop with winds at about 15 miles per hour. It'll feel close to zero out there. Then going through the afternoon, temperatures rise into the mid, briefly upper 20s, but winds will be gusting into the upper 20 mile per hour range as well. And as we go through the evening, a slow decline in temperatures thanks to those clouds, but the decline continues into late week. So a lot of mid and upper 20s from the Red River and points west for your uh, day tomorrow and on your midweek day in Lakes Country. We'll have mid 20s there. Look at this beautiful shot. This from a trip on the snowmobiles up at West Yellowstone. Randy, thanks for sharing all the photos you did of that beautiful scenery out there. Now, cooler on Thursday with morning flakes of snow and then the temperature decline continues to close out the work week will be in the single digits much of the day on our way to a cold start on Saturday. But notice the 20s do return for the weekend. No, not as warm as this past weekend, but still pretty fair. Our fair weather continues into early next week. That's about seasonal for this time of the year. The storm system we were watching for midweek looks like it is heading south. I am very happy to report. Could be so. way worse, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Later on.